somebody. Welcome back with Cooking with Nana. Today I am going to do a homemade fried garlic. So since I have a whole bunch of garlic, I peeled it already. So I just... The only thing you need is just garlic and oil. And I use vegetable. You can don't use olive oil on your fried garlic or your fried shallot. So you just... Yeah, you see, it's a little bit too um, um, big chunk. I don't want big chunk. Okay, and you don't want over chop so much. So this is how it looks like. So this is, I'm ready to go fry this. Okay, so now I got everything ready. So you just need a big pot of you know like a medium size large just depend how much garlic you're doing so i add my vegetable oil here already so you can test it out you don't want your oil over too hot it will burn the garlic too fast so you can test it out as um first you turn your heat up a little bit high Gonna wait for a little bit. Still not hot for me yet. So if you have a kitchen outside, you can do outside, or else your house will smell like a fried garlic. This is, you have to be careful because you have to put it slowly because or else it will bubble, mix. The oil will pop up. And you don't want over um, overloaded with garlic. You have to make sure you know there's some space for them to um, fry it. Okay. And let it sit and let it fry it for a little bit. Keep stirring once in a while because you don't want the garlic to then stuck under the pan. See how the color is turning? That's why you can't have to keep you know stir once in a while and then low down your heat. Once you turn high, then later later you lower down to medium, then later to medium low. Because you don't want to burn your garlic. When it's a little bit golden brown, then you will take it out because once you take it out, it will still turn color again. It will still You can get the one that's already peeled it at Costco, at Sam Club. And then if you don't like the one they already peeled it already, dollars. so we went to the temple, we got this lady, she sell it for five dollars. Like it's very big bag, so we come and peel ourselves. The main thing is like the hard part is to peel your garlic by yourself. It takes time. See how it's getting there? Like I just leave it for a little bit, counting you know like five five. Four, three, two, one. Then I stir it. Okay, now we're gonna wait. So I knew I was on medium, so I lower it down on low. Medium low, like, you know, between not too low. Give it another two minutes, then I will take it out. 
You see, this is how I want it. A little bit like kind of like um, golden brown because it will get darker later. It will change color because you don't want to over you know, fry it, then it will change color. Try get all this. We don't want leftover crumbs like this. So else it's gonna burn. Okay. And then I'm gonna set this on the side. At my next. You see how. You have to do it slowly because if you put a lot, it bubbles up. One more to do. Once you add up, um, at your heat up a little bit more. Since I put it low, now I add to medium. See, Harvey in the picture, this is, this is like a golden brown. Let me see if I can show you guys a better, cause it's dark. I'll let it cool for a little bit. It's, when it get a little bit cooler, we're gonna put in a uh, container. And then you can save this inside your refrigerator or outside or in the freezer. Mm. In the freezer, in the container, it will still feel it will still feel fresh. So please give it a try. Thank yeah. you so much for watching my video. Next time I will see you guys again. Thank you so much for loving Cookie with Nana, supporting Tana Hao Jerk and my Lakon Kopjai Bye.